It was very soft, it was very shiny, moisturized, it felt really good, and then it dried. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in for another video. For today's video, I am going to be doing a one and done product wash and go. I'll be using a product from the Curls line right there. So it's hot and humid here in the South and I have been trying to find products to combat frizz. My hair gets so poofy and so frizzy, it's already like cotton as it is. So I like to kind of wear my hair out more during the summer months. I like definition, but I want to make sure that I have the right products on my hair so my hair can withstand these humid temperatures. So finding products to hold my frizz down and to keep my curl definition has been a little difficult. I found maybe one or two here and there. But I want something a little lighter. I didn't want something too thick that is going to weigh my hair down like a, like a heavy gel. I just wanted something a little more lighter that still has some pretty decent hold and can combat the frizz. So I was in Kroger and they were having a sale on some natural hair care products. And then I saw the Curls line and I noticed they had a sale on some of their products. And they had a gel. This is Goddess Curls Botanical Gel, frizz fighting botanical holding gel that is formulated with certified organic mango and shea butter and plumeria flower extract, proving to revitalize damaged hair and adds moisture. This product contains no sulfates, silicones, parabens, artificial oils, colors, or fragrances. So the claims of this product states this botanical gel will banish frizz, define and hold your curls in place, without the stiff, crunchy feeling that most gels give. It's alcohol and protein free and ideal for humid climates. Great for all curl types. It don't get no better than that. This is a natural's dream to read stuff like this on a bottle. Banish frizz. I like those words. Free of this, free of that. Ideal for humid climates. Define and hold. So as I was looking at the products, the first thing that stood out to me, it said frizz fighting. And that's what I was looking for. So I'm hoping this gel is going to perform well on my hair. I hope it's going to do my hair some justice in fighting this frizz. So we're going to find out. And I'll put the ingredients in the description box below so you can check it out. Okay, so my hair is freshly washed. I just have it under this um, plastic cap just to keep the moisture in so that way my hair doesn't dry out. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump on into this thing. Let's get started. done and I must say I really really love this goddess curls botanical gel this stuff is actually really good now as far as the frizz we'll have to see about that so I will go throughout my day and give you guys an update and, and I'll put that at the end of the video but yeah there was no trouble getting this product through my hair um it was pretty moisturizing I would say a little tacky but that's okay it wasn't all that bad but a little tacky what was so crazy is my hair once i took the bonnet off it started drying so my hair was pretty dry um for the most part it dried quickly and i was still able to get this product through and brush it through and it was just moisturizing my hair the whole time so i had no trouble actually brushing it through with my um tangle teaser which this is actually a really great tangle teaser so i had no issues getting the product through my hair it was penetrating my hair so hopefully this does combat the frizz. Hopefully it does help because if so, I'm definitely going to keep this in my hair stash because this is actually really great. And it's light. It wasn't heavy. It was clumping my curls. As far as the claims of the product, I can't tell you if all of them are true as of yet until I actually put this to the test in this humidity. So, but for now, I got the moisture. Um... I don't think I'm going to get any crunch with this. It, it's a soft hole, but it's a it's a pretty decent hole to be a soft hole. Now, I know I said I was going to do a wash and go using just one product, and that is true. This is still a one product wash and go video because 
I only use one styling product for my whole hair. They say nothing about the edges. So I had put in my Insta story that I had got the Style Factor um, gel. But as it turns out, this is not the actual gel. This is the pomade, which is more like an edge control. So I was going to do a video on this because I thought I got the gel. I thought I got the right thing. And I was just going to do a whole wash and go. But I picked up the wrong product. But I'm going to put this on my edges. This is just for the edges. This is still a one product wash and go. This is what the product looks like from Style Factor Edge Booster. And this is in a grape scent. And they come in different scents, different fragrances. And this one smells just like grape. If you remember the Hubba Bubba uh, grape bubble gum back in the day, I think it was Hubba Bubba. That's what it smells like. It smells just like grapes. It smells so good. So I got my one little twist here. Got them edges laid on both sides. Hey! Of course the shrinkage is so real. All my hair just went <laughs> So it is about two days later and you can see my hair for yourself. So my thoughts, this product. So with this particular product, I will say upon applying this product and immediately after applying this product, it makes your hair feel really, really good. Very soft, very moisturized. Curls popping. Really great shine. Really? So this is two day old hair. And I will say that my curls stayed. The definition is still there and with my curls. They did not go flat. For the most part there are areas of my hair where I use more product than on other parts of my hair particularly right here I did not use as much product in the middle of my hair so there are parts of my hair where I can tell I use more product than on other part portions of my hair so of course the frizz there was some frizz only because like I said I didn't use enough product the parts of my hair where I did use more of the gel um, those parts are still defined. My hair is shrunken like a mini afro. It feels dry, but it's soft, if that makes sense. I will say that it did not get frizzier. It did not get more swollen or bigger with the humidity. It pretty much stayed kind of compact. Um, like I said, a little mini fro. But shrinkage, um, my shrinkage looks worse than ever before. <laughs> I will say this, there was no flakage, there was no residue. My hair feel like it has a lot of product in it. It, it feels like I got a lot of buildup, even though I can't see it, but I can feel it. It's not crunchy, but it's like, um, it's rough. It, my hair feels rough. But I'm going to give this one more shot. I'm going to give it one more shot because I like the initial look and application. But I think I want to do something a little bit different. Um, maybe double up on a moisturizer. Maybe add a moisturizer or something. Um, but I'm going to give it one more shot. And then I'll let you guys know in the Instagram post. I won't be doing another video on this product. My hair does feel stiff though. It says without stiff, my hair feels stiff. Get a little closer so you can see the definition. I do have definition. The back of my hair is a little bit more frizzier. It just looks rough. It feels rough. It don't look good after the fact. I'm definitely going to wash this because this just it just feels awful. I will say this. When it was time to reactivate my curls, I just spritzed some uh, warm water on my hair. My curls liven back up. They look good again. They look refreshed. It looked like day one. But again, I hope you enjoy watching my take on this product and just my experience. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Bye, guys.